now. I feel free, uh, like a weight has been lifted off of me. Um, I feel vindicated. I feel like finally enablers from MSU are being held accountable. Um, finally, justice. Twenty years ago, you came, you came forward to play us about what happened to you, and she didn't believe you. And then when the defense attorney was poking holes and what, how were you feeling that moment? Um, yeah, I, I felt like I, I was back in Kathy's office, being berated and being called a liar. Um, so that was very difficult. It was not fun. It was not fun to be here. But to get that guilty, guilty verdict, it was worth it. Talking about your emotions when you saw when you heard the jury was back with a verdict and you saw them come in. What? How were you feeling before you even knew what was going to happen? Nervous. I was shaking. Um, Emotional. I had my girls with me and my husband. Um, were, were you optimistic? Did you think? No, away? I was expecting, preparing myself for the worst. Um, so when I heard those words, it was amazing. I never, for the past 23 years, didn't think I would hear those words. And today you are standing up not just for NASA survivors, but survivors all around the country. How do you feel knowing that you are speaking up and you could be changing someone's life right now? I'm using this horrible situation to help other people. Um, it makes it worth it. So what kind of punishment do you think is fair for her? Oh, I don't know. Um, I, don't, I don't know that answer, honestly. It's going to be for the judge to decide. And Larissa, Larissa, you just mentioned the enablers, so we now have Dean William Strample in prison. Yes. We now have Kathleen Clegg is looking at prison time. Those are two yes. pretty important people in this entire affair. Okay, um, what do you make, when you sort of look at it in some total and take in mind that we have other criminal cases pending, what do you make of what's gone on just within the, just the ripple effect of, the, of, the, of this case? Um, I am glad that the enablers are being held accountable and I hope that it's showing the world we, we, we got to do better. We have to do better. MSU has to do better. There needs to be um, policies in place that are actually followed. Um, Sexual assault needs to be taken seriously. Do you think Clegus believes this? In, like what she said today, that she doesn't remember this incident. Absolutely and, not. And do you think she'll take accountability for it, at least within herself? I would like to think that, but I can't answer for her. And what were you thinking when you saw her reaction when she heard that she I was actually guilty? wasn't even looking at her. I was just, I just kept looking at the jurors, thinking, "Oh my gosh, did I really hear that word?" <laughs> So I didn't even look at her. And how do you plan moving forward from this now? Oh, I get to put it behind uh, me. I don't know. I get to, it doesn't have to weigh on me. I don't have to okay. continue to bury that or carry that burden. I don't know. And that's gonna be a new feeling for you that you haven't felt in a long time. A very long time. And again, very long time. And I guess do you don't have any idea on how like you're gonna handle this okay. now. And I, um, uploaded my I want to see something funny like going to Disney World, um, but um, <laughs> <laughs> probably go on a very nice tropical vacation somewhere. Just Larissa, get away. Sorry, what are your thoughts about Kathy Clegg's? Hello? Yes? It's a loaded question. Um, okay. Honestly, I wish she would have just said I'm yep, sorry. Yeah, I just did that. That I screwed up, I'm sorry. That would have gone a long way. It's for the five o'clock hit. I'm assuming that's the most.